Hi, my name is Mary Jane Goodman from Hayes Sewing Machine Company in Wilmington, Delaware. And as part of our creative video series that we have here on YouTube, today I am making a very simple headband. Uh, one of the things that I like about this headband is it's all made out of jersey knit. So it's got some stretch to it, but better than that, it does not fray. So I really don't treat the ends of these headbands when I make them. Um, I simply cut them and sew them together. So today I'm going to use one of our really pretty new knits that we have in the store. And what you're going to need are two pieces of knits. I will put the dimensions in the notes for this video. A piece of elastic. And I sometimes use a stretch needle. Uh, I tend to see what's going on with my knit when I'm sewing it. I'll sew on a test sample and I will put in a stretch needle if necessary, 7511. So this is actually the band that's going to cover the elastic. So the first thing I need to do is fold this in half, give it a nice press, and we're just going to make a little sleeve. Come over to my iron. Give it a little press. Because it's a knit and it may get a little wonky when I'm sewing it, they tend to get a little slidey sometimes, I will put a couple pins in here. Nothing crazy, just something to hold it together as I sew. So I have pinned together uh, my right sides together so that um, it doesn't go anywhere as I'm sewing it. I do a few little reinforcement stitches um, at the beginning and the end of this row. And I'm sewing probably about a quarter of an inch because I'm a quilter and that seems to be <laughs> the seam allowance I am capable of. give it a couple stitches at the end here and cut it. So I have my little pocket for my elastic. I don't do anything fancy with turning this inside out. I will just use a safety pin and then I feed my way through. I'm sure if you had a fancy tool this would be a great place to use it right now. I'm sure we have fancy tools, but... <laughs> yeah, um, fast turns will help. Yeah. But I use the safety pin method. All right, I'm going to pull that through. There we go. And then take that off my safety pin. So, now I have a nice little pocket. I am going to take the main piece of the headband. I'm going to take my 3 8 inch elastic and I just fold. Let me do it this way so you can get a good shot. I maybe leave about an inch of the elastic. So you put that in the center. Mm -hmm. And then I just fold over my two pieces just until the elastic is covered. So just like that. Got it. You can pin it if you'd like. I do switch to a zigzag stitch here. I think I did that because I was anticipating that this would be a, a pressure point where the elastic would get stretched. And And I go backwards. So you're basically just sewing where the elastic is. That is correct. Yeah, I want the rest of it to kind of stay sort of loosey-goosey. Okay. So now I have this. Nice. I take my sleeve again. It's like a magic trick. 
Right? <laughs> you can't get all excited and start sewing the elastic to both ends, though. Ask Which I, uh, I was <laughs> thinking. Ask me how I know. <laughs> <laughs> how do we know that? Hmm. Yeah. I take my safety pin. I'm going to feed the safety pin through the little Got it. cover. And then when I get to this point, I'm just tucking in. Got it. Yeah. How much do you tuck it into? So it's, I'd say like halfway. Halfway. Because I want some room to attach this piece of elastic. So now I lay it out again to make sure that I'm not putting a twist in there with the elastic. Nothing more uncomfortable than elastic <laughs> this twisted. Correct. Again, I have about an inch there. I'm going to cover. And cover. Again, you can mark this. You can pin it. I'm quite lazy when I'm sewing, so I just kind of hold and go and shift and move as necessary. Another zigzag stitch all along the end here. Okay. And I don't even clip my threads because it's going to be covered. So on this side, <clears throat> I bring it down to about where it starts. So the elastic is right there. Mm -hmm. And then I do the same thing on this side and I feed it through. And these knits are so gorgeous and so, so soft. <clears throat> and then as my final piece of the puzzle, I tack on both sides. You don't want to sew a straight line there because you don't want to get in the way of having your elastic stretch. So I, um, I like a little movement with the headbands. So I simply overlap the tube with the fabric that's going into mm -hmm. the pocket. About then, like said, that one inch? Yeah, about an inch. And then I just put a couple tacking stitches in it. And for those of us that tacking stitch, what would that be? So a tacking stitch is like three or four stitches in one place. And you do it on just that one? I do it on both sides. Both sides. Yeah, just to keep it kind of friendly. And in this, because the um, bottom is white, I like to kind of tuck it in, tuck it a little bit, and then the white won't show as Got I'm it. wearing it. So I will do that on both sides. So each side is going to get two tacks. Exactly. Exactly. And see how I'm just kind of stuffing? Yep. So the reason why I started making these is because my daughter wanted some for camp and couldn't find <clears throat> ones that she liked. So I just used an old one that she had been wearing for a while and made a pattern out of it. And that's how I came up with this. So she went off to camp with a bunch of little adorable headbands <laughs> and was very, very, very happy. And I would imagine any, well, all, a lot of people wear headbands, but certainly you can do sports themed. You can just make a pretty, nice. isn't that pretty? Now I have a couple variations. So as I said, I will post the dimensions on YouTube when we post this video, but basically this is 17 by six and a half is the original band size. But okay. then I was playing around a little bit. Sometimes people like a knot in their headbands. So I cut this six and a half by 20 and all you would have to do is put a little knot in the center of it. And then do the same and thing. And then do the same technique. Nice. The other thing I've seen that's kind of neat is they make a loop. 
So the loop would be, you want to go like this. Now, I would caution on this one because there's white on the back, but I still think it could look pretty cute. So you make an X. That's not an X. That's a plus. <laughs> you make a plus. You fold it this way. Got it. And then you fold it this way. And I would play around with this to get all the white covered. But then yeah. you have a nice little cross, ah, and then you can use, use it. it. the same way. And probably what I would do is I would smooth this out with my fingers until I got the um, fabric laying the, want, the way I want it to. Mm -hmm. And I would probably do a little tacking stitch down here. Got Again, it. three, four stitches all in one place just holds it for you to be able to work with the product. So here's the little headband I made. I would say the dimensions I'm giving are for an adult size. Um, obviously, if you're doing a child size, you're going to have to go a little smaller. There's the knot, and there's the twist. Very nice. And that's my simple headband. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs>